All right, guys, I wish the lighting was better down here. It's not. It sucks, but it's what I got to work with whenever it's wintertime and I don't go outside to the where I usually shoot my videos. Uh, but this is my second uh, AR lower build. I was kind of wanted to show it off real quick. Uh, I do have an upper coming. Uh, once it uh, gets here, I'll do a video on that and then do a full video on the uh, on the full rifle. Uh, but this thing, I, I don't know, I really like it and probably just because I've made it and I kind of, you know, made it my own. Uh, we'll just go over it real quick just so you guys know what's going on. It's just an Anderson, uh, it was a strip lower. Uh, the grip on this, uh, this is from Coda Boy 32 um, It was the, the grip uh, that I won with the kit from uh, C-Max's giveaway. So I took this grip off of Maxine, put the standard grip back on her, and... Uh, wanted to put this grip on on the rifle that uh that i'm putting together um so we'll go down the line you guys are going to see a theme here uh but this is the trigger guard it's a hogue extreme series g10 uh contoured ar-15 trigger guard it's like a lot it says it's a lava a blue lava so obviously you guys can see where we're going with this build uh and then since i kind of mixed and match parts i gotta scroll down on my computer to make sure i get the uh the names of everything right uh, the takedown pins uh, these are strike industries ultralight pivot uh takedown pins of course in blue the magazine release i believe is that is it strike industries let me double check no <laughs> battle arms development uh magazine catch release of course in blue the, uh, the the whole lower parts kit, the part, uh, you know, everything is inside of it and the guts, well, the majority of the guts. Uh, it's a Rock River Arms AR-15 lower receiver uh, parts kit. I, you know, it's it's not bad now, but whenever I first got it, I'm going to try it, but it seems to be kind of working itself out. All right, once I get down, listen to see if you can hear, like, it sounds like the spring's binding. No, oh, didn't do it that time. Uh well, see, maybe just because I've been sitting in my basement waiting waiting for the upper to come, and I've been doing that a lot, maybe it's like loosening everything up. Uh, but it did have a lot of binding to it. I took the took everything back out, polished the uh, polished the trigger up, uh, and it, it's definitely a lot better on that. And the last thing, uh, as you guys can see, is the buffer tube, and the buffer tube is a Leapers UTG six position, of course, in blue. So that's cool. I did want to go with the the blue uh, back plate here, but I couldn't find one that I liked, so I just stuck with a standard uh, ambidextrous one for now. But once once I find a, a back plate that I like, I will switch that out with a blue one. Uh, one thing, this is one. Th this is a three ounce buffer. Um, let me make sure I can find what buffer it is. Maybe you guys can help me out on this. There, okay. Um, the buffer, which, oh yeah, I guess you can see it. This is the, uh, it's a Radical Firearms Carbine Buffer, 3 ounce. And I, I'm going to close this up so that it's not as, you know, not as shaky. But, you guys hear that? The springs are tight. It's not like the buffer is in there doing that. I mean, if I were to take the buffer back out and shake it, it actually shakes back and forth. I've never done a build before, and I've grabbed some. I have uh, I have uh, Maxine over there, then I have my Bushmaster, and I shake it like that, and it doesn't make that noise. Like, the buffer doesn't... And it's definitely the buffer. Um, so, I, I don't know. Is that standard? Is that going to stop? Is that normal? You know, just somebody, if you can give me a heads up on that. Uh, but that's all I really have for the, uh, for the lower. I did order an upper, um, and it's got, everything's on back order now because everybody's freaking uh, panic buying again. But, uh, I ended up getting a lower from my uh, Delta team tactical. It's pretty standard. It's a one and eight twist. I think the barrel 16 inch. I don't know the names of everything right off the top, but uh, we'll talk about that once it comes. But the cool part is take a guess. The, the handrail is blue, so uh, I can't wait to get this thing completely put together and out to the range to uh, to do some shots. So just want to let you guys know that uh, that's what's been going on um, in the last couple weeks. So, all right, we'll catch you when the upper comes in. Later. Blue, you're my boy!